Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. In today's Train Sim World 3 video, we're going to be taking a look at the Peak Forest Railway, the Ambergate, Chinley and Buxton route. This has just released on the 9th of May, and we are going to take a quick drive on one of the Jubilee timetabled workings. Um, we're going to take a run out of Buxton and go up to Chinley. Um, we will be doing some more videos. Uh, we're going to probably do some bits and pieces along the way. We'll try and get different sections, different videos. Um, over the next like week or so, uh, we'll do our very best to get everything covered for you. Uh, so keep keep uh, an eye out for them. Uh, literally just come off the stream with the route as well, and uh, we've had an absolute blast on there. So if you'd watched that stream, you'll have seen what we've been up to. But we're gonna do a a Buxton Middle into Manchester Central working um, with the Jubilee. So let us get it all loaded up, and we'll take uh, the train through. Um, the mantle, sort of like the lower end of the uh, the dales, if you will. Um, so, Elvis Jubilee. It's uh, four cars, uh, four coaches, includes the uh, the local and the tender and makes it six. Uh, Buxton Chinley. We're going to call uh, obviously at Buxton. We've got Peak Forest, Chapel on the Thrift Central, and Chinley. Right. Oh, let's get the doors open and we'll get the reverse route forward. And also, you didn't expect me to be doing a steam video. I bet. Well. I've been practicing quite a bit this last week or two. Um, if you watch the streams over the last week, um, I've been doing this. I've also done a Exeter to Penzance steam working on the King, and we got there. So I must be improving with a little bit of help from Mark, of course, along the way. Excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> Sorry, that come through. Uh, right, so we are at Buxton. And a lovely station it is as well. I absolutely love when you come in here and you just look out there and you've got the uh, sort of the glow off the train. You've got all the canopy looking through and you see all the shadows on the floor. It's just a lovely place to be. This station these days isn't actually here on this part of it anyway. Um, the left hand side has gone. The, the station that exists today is the one on the right over there. Uh, you can't actually go into that one, unfortunately. It's all that one's been blocked off. Uh, it's mainly there for the visual side of things. Um, I don't think any trains do running out of there either. Sadly, would have been quite nice for AI to maybe have done something there, but I suppose that's probably added a bit more to the timetable load. Um, unfortunately, general look of the route and the feel of the route is absolutely superb. I've thoroughly enjoyed the drives I've done up to now on it. Um, up and down the line, I've done a few drives now. I think I'm, this might be sixth or seventh. Um, I did have a go banking on the uh, on the stream. It didn't go very well. <laughs> we ended up going for a red signal, but we did do the banking at, at least. That that did work. So that wasn't too bad. Um, gen general feel in the stream as well. The route, um, lovely looking route. There's a few things um, that came through to, in terms of maybe like trackside clutter is a bit uh, bare, and could have done with some point rodding and cable pulleys and stuff for the semaphores. That sort of thing, really. But um, in, in terms of the route itself, it's a very nice place to uh, explore. It's a lovely environment. And I think the team that put this together have done an absolute superb job. <clears throat> um, capturing a route that's now no longer there uh, as well, I think they have done a good job. Some of it still exists. I mean, some, this part around here, it, it, it's still, I mean, probably rational down a bit. But um, <clears throat> for the most part... Um, a lot of this route is gone, basically. Everything from Peak, I think it's Peak Forest Junction, up to Matlock is gone. Far the exception of some of it's come back as a heritage railway, uh, the Peak, uh, the Peak Railway. Um, Matlock's Rowsley, I think it is, or something like that. Mm. Or Darleydale, one or the other. Uh, that's there. And then Matlock onwards to Ambergate, that is still there to, in today's world, but as a single line section. We've got um, 45613 Kenya for this uh, service as well. The route itself um, features, it does feature the 4F, we will do that on another video. Um, that does a bit more on the side of tootling around and banking and stuff like that, so we'll, we'll do something with that as a separate video. Um, ICI hopper wagons, those are the new wagons that come with the route. 
it then comes with the 8F and the Jubilee, which was saw on Spirit of Steam as well. So the uh, cylinder cocked off. There's 15 coming over the crossover out of Buxton Station. You've got the uh, the bridge there as well. That would go towards, um, I think it's Dowlow and Hindlow, I think. There's a few more quarries down that way. Basically what you're seeing here as well, in the modern form, will be on the JT route uh, when that comes out. Um, it's the modernised version. The modernised version on the JT route does go down that way, so you'll be able to explore down there on TS Classic when that comes. Uh, books in East box as well. Build up the power now. You will be thinking, oh my god, Tom's driving a steam loco, what has the world come to? <laughs> I can do it though. We are we are getting better at this sort of stuff. So I want to try and be able to do this a lot more. Mainly um, for the streaming side of things. Because there's some absolute superb uh, Steam stuff coming out, even on Tracing Classic as well. And Caledonia works and Bossman games. Yeah, the the general scenery and the feel of the room is absolutely lovely. I did say, and I don't know if anyone else agrees with me though, and this isn't a bad thing because it's an absolutely brilliant game, but Diesel Velcar Simulator springs to mind when you look at the colour palette on this. It sort of has that look to it. That's not a bad thing, by any means. It definitely captures that feel, it has the right and all the rock faces and stuff like that. It's, just, it's amazing. An absolute superb job has been done all around um, by the team on this. <clears throat> Station models are lovely. The artwork's lovely. The is lovely. It's just a few little bits. Um, again, it's not like anything out there. There's, you'll always have little little things that'll sort of niggle at you. But, uh, the, the one that, have, that seemed to come up on the stream was the, uh, the track side. Do with a bit more clutter, um, talked about. So maybe as a, hopefully maybe if an update comes down the line, we may see some bits like that. But it's still nice. I'm going to sort of try and spend a bit of time on the out exterior camera just so you can see what's going on rather than setting the cab. Otherwise, you're going to miss scenery. Some interesting track work as well. I mean, a lot of this will have gone these days. Nationalised back to just uh, what it is today. We need to slow down short for Peak Forest Junction. Uh, we're going to take the tight left hand curve and head towards Tunstead and Peak Forest and that way. Which cuts us through to Chapel on the fifth and then on to um, Chinley, during the Hope Valley Line, essentially. I've already got some screenshots already that I can probably well just take one just in case, you never know. Screenshots always come in handy. Now, this is a bit of a different service. I did do a mirrored one of these on the stream and I slightly made a little mishap on this curve. I braked a bit too hard and we came to a stop on the hill. It was um, badly misjudged. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do it again now and not make an absolute mess of it. And if I make a mess of it, I can I can guarantee that Marco Paul will pull it up, but never mind. Uh, this is Top the Pike. Another little uh, dining area, look like a sort of aggregate industry area. So, again, never in the back braking. Trying to be heavy handed with it, really. I feel as well that this is a massive step up and game change from Spirit of Steam. Um, in, in just the way the scenery has been done, there's a lot more detail on this 
mainly it's got fences as well for a start. That, that route didn't really have much fencing either. Um, this has got plenty of that. I think I might have uh, balls this up again. Well, not balls up, but I've uh, come in a bit too hot. Really. We're alright. We're coming at a safe speed. We need to get these brakes back up though, because otherwise we will end up stopping. And we don't want that. I'm not bothered from four over. The main thing is we're moving. <laughs> so continuing onwards, we will feature that in another video very soon. That takes you towards Ambergate. Um, Millersdale's just up the road there. Um, and beyond. Takes you towards the Derwent Valley. That's the the Mont. These days you can walk down on that line. Um, this, everything up there is gone um, up to where the, the peak rail begins. Um, but you can walk the Monsel, is it the Monsel Trail, I think they call it. Um, you can actually walk along the whole of that. Something I'd like to do one day, personally. <coughs> Explore it. <coughs> so, 10 all the way around the curve. Uh, triangle Junction, so you can get both ways. Um, either to Buxton or towards Ambergate here. I think as well it appears to be an old kiln um, on here. Well, probably might have been still in operation to be fair, but there is a kiln there. I'm not sure why these wires have got some red texture on them. Impressive model. Onwards, <clears throat> speed up in a minute. We can get ourselves moving. Got a 190 climb, so it's a, it's a fair climb now to Peak Forest. All the way through to Tunstead. Which eases after Tunstead as we go to the tunnel towards uh, Chapel on the Frith. much as we can without killing the, uh, the boiler. All in all there's 110 services um, to drive which feature a range of different tasks whether it's uh, express working, semi-fast uh, stoppers, um, there's some freight workings as well with the AF, there's um, shunting and banking for the 4F. There's a bit of something for everyone. Um, six scenarios as well. I'm not sure if there's any training modules though. I don't quite remember what's on that. Tunstead first and then uh, Peak Forest. So plenty of sidings. One thing I've noticed as well is that in the sidings around uh, here, in the timetable it's very very quiet. Whereas if you load a scenario up here, it's absolutely brimmed. So I don't understand why it's not a little bit uh, brimmed here in the timetable, if it, even if it's stuff that's not being moved. Surely a couple more wagon uh, rates would have been quite a, a nicer idea to see bits in there. It just looks dead to me. Even here as well, it just doesn't look like there's any life. In it. Whereas if you if you if you go on a scenario, it's, it's bustling. There's loads of stuff, all sorts moving around. I think there could have been a bit more put in there, to be honest. The 
below does look really nice as well. Um, they probably had a bit more weathering on there just to make it a little bit more dirty. It does look a little bit pristine at the minute. But, um, yeah, maybe that. And I'm not sure if it's missing a bake to be fair. It does look very bright, but maybe that's just with the light casting off it. But it's a very nice model. Huge. Absolutely huge. <laughs> Again, a bit more over here, but uh, going around towards Great Rocks now. I'm loving the uh, the trackside foliage as well. I really like what they've used here. I feel like they've gone a bit more detailed on the banks and stuff this time. Still climbing, we are we are getting a bit of speed. We're about a mile from peak. This is great rocks going up now. Some of these buildings are still here today. I mean this one on the left here is, is still here today. The signal box isn't quite the same as it is. Um, I think they've been sort of rebuilt the signal boxes to be fair. Maybe they'll recladded or sort of re remodeled. The boxes definitely have to have changed over time. And we want to start firing now. Then. Typical. We are now approaching Peak Forest Station, a station that is obviously is now closed, but the building still lists uh, lists lives on today, uh, even though it's not a, a place of uh, picking up passengers. But it is used as I think it's a DB. Uh, sign on point basically for freight drivers so yeah the this the mod the, the mod let me words out i'm absolutely killing this the building lives on part of the platform i think still there um even though it's slightly been uh, changed a bit but there is still um evidence of the platform that was there um other buildings that you can see around here i'll point out in a moment that aren't here today but uh, obviously we're there back in this era Big old buildings that have uh, once were here and now are gone. I'm loving the um, the old station signage as well, rather than the uh, the usual stuff with the wrong sort of fonts that, that get used. Not bad at all. Right, yo. So uh, there we go. And we'll put a little bit of break on because otherwise it's going to uh, lead off. So I'm just going to quickly jump around here and just quickly show you some of the collectibles now if I can find them. Uh, there's one. So, um, Bakewell Tarts, afternoon tea. There we go. Lunch eating. This is one. There is uh, a timetable thing on here, I think. Uh, no, it's not. Where is it? That parcel, uh, cases. I'm getting told off now because I'm still under cocks on. Go back in there and just do that drill, tell me off. And I'm going to jump up on the side. You shouldn't do this, don't do this at home. I'm just going to do that if it's easier. Uh, there it is. There's that. There is another thing, but I'm not sure what it is. To be honest, I'm not sure if there's a coal bag somewhere that you have to fill up. I have seen some empty coal bags that knocking about, so that might be uh, the other one. No idea where they are. I've not seen one here anyway. Um, there is also, if I can find them, there is some dioramas. There we go. The uh, reading the paper. Well, the newspaper rustles when they change the page. Sunday train watching. Take a peek in the peak forest. There you are. Here are the rustle. Very nice. I recognise the area fully. 
I've been around here uh, before a couple of times. I mean, I've parked up outside the house here and been over the bridge and taken photos. That building isn't here anymore, along with that one. And I think the tra a lot of this track work's been re remodelled, a lot of it, and a lot of it's gone. They sort of use these sidings over here these days for uh, shunting. Uh, I've been around here before and travelled up this road. But yeah, it's, it's, it's impressive to see it in the game and how it once was in terms of steam form. And that, that view down there is absolutely superb. Just, just look, look at that. Pretty bang on. Decent. Uh, sun's on a really, really awkward position at the minute. Just don't really want to be doing it here, but there's a four F over there. We'll be featuring this in another video uh, very soon. But that is the Fowl 4F that comes with the route. Lovely model. Back to our train. We must keep on, uh, on track. We are downhill now as well. Decent length tunnel coming up now, uh, drops to 50 uh, while we travel through it, and it opens back up again um, once we've cleared. So as you can see, that's a very long tunnel. Uh, we're just coming to the end of it now. A couple of miles, I definitely said about a mile or two, looking at almost there. Not overly sure on the actual technical name for the tunnel. I'm not sure it's sure Dovall's tunnel, to be fair. Oh, the back was 80 in, and uh, wide it for a little bit. Give it beans. Now, Dovall's Tunnel. There we go, that answered my question, doesn't it? Or this one, Dovall's Tunnel. It's one of them, anyway. Well, that's not as long. Great. 
Like some. We might end up over shooting a little bit here. Not the first time I've done this this evening. What? I think it was Cromford actually I did this at earlier. Totally forgot about Cromford. Well, that's me absolutely storming to come down the station, but never mind. Just. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Oh, well, we've managed to stop, so. Only a coach in a bit. Uh, so this, I don't think this station's there anymore. I think this one's gone. There's another chapel on the fifth station on the other line that goes over the top. So you can actually... I'm not sure if you can see it. That, that tunnel we went over there, there's another line that goes over the top of it. It's the one that came off the other, other platform at Buxton. They sort of cross each other a couple of times. <clears throat> One of the topics that came up in the stream as well was um, the potential of diesels on the route, like early early years diesels. Um, Midland Pullman was another one that came up as well. I would love to see some stuff like that. I think adding some diesels into it as well would actually bring a lot more people poverty to the route. Not necessarily the people that like um, like steam, but like the diesel side of it, and sort of like you can have them working around each other. There's just a short run to Chinlin now, so 1.4 mile. South Junction. Chinley East Junction on the right and I think Chinley West Junction is the other one. It's a great one because it does go over down to 15 mile an hour I think just over over it. You don't get much notice, so be, be, be aware that you do have to slow right down when you come over this way. It crosses you over. Ooh, some dogs barking. Didn't notice them earlier. Probably because I was absolutely storming around this corner and not realising it was 15 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, it's chilly north junction, so not, um, not west. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to cross over to the right hand side here. So much better since the update came uh, for the Jubilee that the, uh, the safety valve didn't deafen you. Well, there's a little bit of fighting between the sounds, you can hear them. And fight each other. I'm not sure if that's something that can be fixed or not. If anyone on DTG is watching this. Another thing that was mentioned uh, um, the particle effects on the uh, on the steam locos look very like, like clouds, like fluffy clouds. And there's not any like sort of dark textures to the smoke. Even when you like when you shut off, it's all very white and clean. 
There's a few other bits and pieces I like to see still fixed. It's like the wind blow the whistle, it comes straight through the cab. Really, ideally, the, the whistle on the locos is pointing upwards, so surely the whistle should be going up. Well, actually, no, not on this, it's not. On the 4F it does, but it still goes out and over. It, it, I would expect it to sort of arrive up a bit and around over the top of the cab. The 4F, however, that does point up and that still does the same thing. So I'm wondering if they use the same emitter for the whistle and just point it on the 4F and it does the same thing. But anyway, we'll, we'll cover the 4F on another video. That fire looks really roaring. I mean, I'm trying to talk to you like I know everything about Steam, and I, I really don't. I'm not trying to like uh, wow you with all sorts of info that I really don't know about. I'm just just factual. Bits that I see, bits that I do know. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little drive. Anyway, I'm just a little look at a, a little corner of the route. We will be covering it even more moving forward. Keep your eye for, uh, out for stuff like that. Hopefully we'll probably get another video done um, quite soon after this. And that's there, so that'll follow in the week. Probably the 4F and then we'll do something over the main part of the route and towards Ambergate or from Ambergate back. different things we can do. Some of the things I would like to see is maybe some more like local stoppers, maybe some passenger work with the 4F. I have seen pictures out there that the 4F has done stuff passenger wise. Short rates. I've stopped way short I think. Oh no we're in the station I'll stop there. But no honestly it's a lovely lovely route. The detail is absolutely superb. Very nice. It's bad to see this station uh, with all these platforms where on the JT route it's just that platform that exists still. Without the buildings, it's just got a, a bridge. The bay platform has obviously been, it's all been filled in. Yeah, it's crazy to see how uh, what it once was. I've only ever seen it in pictures and to see it in a game, it's amazing to be honest. It's uh, a very, very nice ref uh, ref recreation. The uh, good shed as well. Cranes. You can uh, operate these. You can operate the water um, arms. You can actually fill um, the trains up. <clears throat> no, yeah. Very nice. Enjoyable is what it is. And I've enjoyed it thoroughly all the way through this evening what I've been doing on the street and I'm doing this video. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future videos from ourselves. Catch on Twitch at twitch.tv slash train underscore TV on a Friday and uh, Sunday normally, although we did do an extra stream this uh, week on the Tuesday, so there is extra streams that do appear, so you never know when I might drop on. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, the link is in the description. Bye for now.